It's all an illusion. And it's an illusion that we can enjoy or it's an illusion that can control us. But what has happened is that we have forgotten that we are the dream and the dreamer. And the dream has taken over. And the dream has led us to believe that we are a part. We think in terms of parts, not whole. We think in terms of David Icke, not infinite consciousness. And therefore, we got caught in an illusory trap of division. about um, think of an eddy or whirlpool in a river it's part of the river but it's in a different state of reality it's not flowing with the river it's in its own little world and as it said as long as the circumstances remain the same that eddy will just keep going round and round and round and round only when the circumstances change the flow changes will it become flowing back into the river again and become the oneness and when it started this voice started talking to me it opened up by saying there's only one thing you really need to know infinite love is the only truth everything else is illusion and I, in my mind I went to say everything and I got halfway through it it said everything else is illusion because what it was saying was, the only truth is the existence of this infinite one consciousness, which is all loving, all knowing, all wise, the harmonious amalgamation of all. Everything else is the imagination of that consciousness made manifest, illusion. We have a dream and we wake up and we say, oh, I had this amazing dream. Well, the only difference between that and this is we believe this dream is real. And of course, in the dreams, when we fall off the edge of cliffs, we just wake up. We're all right. We don't get splattered on the rocks because it's just a dream. But we do here because we believe in the limitations of this dream and therefore we experience the limitations of this dream.
there's only one thing you really need to know. Infinite love is the only truth. Everything else is illusion.